Hello, my name is Colin Martin. This year I enrolled in a 4-H project, a small engines project in fact. Um, I used this lawn tractor, and this is my project board, and I used this lawn tractor to complete my project. My goals this year were to change the oil, the fuel filter, the air filter, and the battery. I completed all those goals, and now the lawn tractor runs great. Works like a charm. This here is the air filter. Uh, I took the old one and I took it to Tractor Supply and I held it up. Um, this here, this blue thing here is a pre-filter. That helps keep all the stuff out of your engine that you don't want in the air. And it goes into the engine. It's good It's a good idea to oil this just lightly. What you do is you get some oil on your fingers and you rub it around. You squeeze any um, extra oil out. This is a... Um, gravity fed engine what that means is gravity pulls the oil or the fuel through this line through the the fuel filter here which I replaced and into the engine this here is a shutoff valve what this does is it shuts off or um, uh, it doesn't let fuel pass this which makes cleanup and just generally changing it out a lot easier I use nuts to put that back on. Over here on the other side is how you change out the oil. Um, the oil changing apparatus, I guess is what you call it. This here is the dipstick. You can check your oil with this. You put clean oil in here and through here. Once you're done draining the oil, I jacked my, I jacked this up and I put an oil pan under there. I unscrewed this. This is how you get it out: is you unscrew this and then you let it drain out. It worked great. Um, I put in the oil, and you want to put in just the slightest bit too much oil, so that there's enough oil, the oil goes into the engine, and then there's still a full pan of oil there for the engine to use. Um, I got. Now, the amount of oil that you put in, you can usually find in an owner's manual that comes with your lawn tractor. Um, one of the things you have to make sure you do is if you've been running the engine, let it cool down first because the oil has gone through the engine and is heated up and could burn you and create serious problems. So make sure you let it cool down. You also want to wear tight-fitting clothes and keep your hair tied up so that um, nothing gets caught and I mean if you're ever working on this because this lawn tractor the way it works is the, the it uses a bunch of pulleys to move things around um, this is the battery here and the, how it works with the pulleys is if you get clothes caught in there or if it's running and something gets caught in there it'll pull you towards the engine It'll bang you up pretty bad. This here is my project board. These here are my goals here and some pictures. My goals here were to change out the oil, the fuel, air, filters, and the battery. This here I'll show you what I did. Feel free to pause the video in case you didn't see it because I don't spend a lot of time with this just because. Here's the mistakes I did. Um, was when I was changing out the battery, I used a, um, a multimeter to check the resistance and the voltage and the continuity to make sure there was even the full connection. It is so extremely bad to test the continuity on a battery that might have charge because it'll blow up your multimeter and it'll short, short circuit it. This could lead to you possibly getting electrocuted. This is not safe. It's a really bad idea. So I avoid that. The lawn tractor works perfectly for me now. Um, I hope you all have a nice afternoon, evening. Have a good day.